What is up guys, it is Cayman from Rolling Gamers. Today I'm coming at you with a uh, best render settings video for Sony Vegas. It's just going to be a quick tutorial on the, the best ever quality you can get for Sony Vegas. So first thing, the first thing I'm going to do is go to File, go to Properties. And for most people, if you're just recording standard gameplays, you will be recording in 29.97 or 30 frames per second. So what you're going to do is you want to come down to HDV 720-30. 1280 by 720 29.97 but some people like to use 60 fps for no montage or just simply smoother videos then in that case you'll go down to 1080 by 60 a uh, 1920 by 1080 59 point yeah and then so basically for me I'm going to choose HGV 7 because that's the clip I'm using and then make sure you tick this box so it will do it for all projects so you'll never have to do this ever again. Press apply. Okay. So then we're going to go to a clip, which is just a Modern Warfare 2 clip for me just running around. Just an example clip, really. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to. I just want to give an example here. You see this blurriness here. You want to right click, go to properties, and then press disable resample. You need to tick this or else your video will look bad. And press OK. Fix, no blurry. I don't know why Sony Vegas puts that on here, but they just do. So, what you're going to do here is you're going to highlight it, go to File, Render As, and then you're going to go to Video for Windows AVI. Some people wouldn't use this because it's a very big file, but some people would use main concept, this one here, but not as good quality as AVI. It's big, big files, but I'll get to that later. So, what you're going to do here is going to create a new template. I already have one, but I'm going to create a new one. In call it 720p and make sure it is on this HD 720p uh, 1080 by 720 make this 29.97 because that's what your video recording is going to be and then press OK so that's that here I'm gonna render that and I'll come back to you after this is finished